What's going on YouTube for us to here? Hope you guys are doing well. Today was meant to be a big day for the Call of Duty community, as thousands of players were ready to log on to Modern Warfare Remastered and try out the new H2 multiplayer mod. A mod that set out to finally bring this community Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. A project that had been begged for, pleaded for, for years. And of course, we got that small little tease of Activision delivering us Modern Warfare 2 Remastered campaign. But we wanted the multiplayer. And finally, there was a project that set out to deliver that to the community. So this was supposed to be a day of celebration. Of all of our hype and excitement finally being realized. But instead, all of that hype and excitement turned to frustration and disappointment. The celebration turned to mourning as Activision once again decided to alienate their audience and shut down this multiplayer mod. The team over at H2M released this statement yesterday. Today, our team members received a cease and desist order on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the H2M mod project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations immediately and permanently. This obviously feels like deja vu for the Call of Duty community. Because it was 15 months ago when these same feelings of frustration, disappointment, and alienation occurred when Call of Duty shut down a similar project called SM2. A project that once again set out to remind the community about what Call of Duty used to be about. The identity that Call of Duty used to have. The fun that Call of Duty used to center its gameplay around. Not the soulless, lifeless regurgitation of everything that's wrong with modern day gaming that Call of Duty is today. And unfortunately, just like H2M, SM2 was also shut down. Now while the situation feels a little bit similar, it's also different. Because this time around, people invested real money into an Activision project. As many players decided to buy Modern Warfare Remastered. The game that H2M was utilizing to bring us Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And as a result of this, Modern Warfare Remastered soared up the Steam charts. It took Steam by storm. It was outselling some of the biggest hitters out there. And trust me when I say this, it's not because it's a quality PC port. It might be one of the worst. But that didn't matter to Activision. They still took your money, knowing full well they were going to send this cease and desist order. And that's what's truly disgusting here, is they didn't choose to do this last week or earlier this week. No, they waited until the 11th hour to pull the rug out from under their community. And this is why people are so upset today. This is why people are so frustrated. It looked like this was going to go off without a hitch. That Activision was finally going to let a mod survive. But nope. Nope. We'll take your money and you'll get nothing in return. Because we're Activision and F you, that's why. And it's this type of attitude that has led so many people to feel alienated by this company. And this is why people should be mass returning this game. Just demand refunds from Steam. So you can return the F you back to Activision because they deserve it. But the part that bothers me here with the H2M mod is I don't know who it was hurting. Because Activision was bringing in revenue from the sales of Modern Warfare Remastered. And the developers weren't making any money. And the community was happy with an experience that was actually good for once. So who was losing? I, I, I just see a win-win-win situation. But of course Activision had to ruin that. And of course, heaven forbid, they decide to use any of this legal might on cheaters in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. No, heaven forbid that happened. I mean, if these H2 guys have all of this talent, they should just start developing cheats for Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 6, and Warzone. Because at least they'll make money, and Activision is less likely to shut you down, because, heck, cheaters run rampant in their games, and they don't really seem to care. They'll boast about these numbers, but it's absolutely embarrassing that that many cheaters are on your game consistently. But it's Activision after all. Heaven forbid actually create a game that's good for your community. Nope. We'd rather just shut down other projects that make us look bad. And this is exactly what this is, by the way. This is them shutting down a project that makes them look bad. That makes them look incompetent. 
I mean, if that's not already on full display after the Black Ops 6 leaks, am I right? They are incompetent. They're lazy. They're soulless. They're lifeless. There's no passion there. There's no creativity in Activision anymore. Heaven forbid somebody actually try to inject something with a little bit of passion, a little bit of identity into their franchise. But nope, they won't do that. And the crazy thing is, is I think players would have had a better experience on this H2 multiplayer mod than they would have playing Modern Warfare 3, at least from a server standpoint. I doubt there would have been Packet Burst. That's been a problem for years, but Activision has done nothing to address that. Maybe if as a community we decided to mod every single Call of Duty game to have Packet Burst, they'd actually do something about it. They'd cease and desist that, I, I don't really know. But it's getting pretty tiring, continuously addressing concerns that this franchise has, only for it to fall on deaf ears. And yet, when finally there's something to get excited about that's centered around Call of Duty, Activision shoots themselves in the foot and decides to completely turn their back to their audience. This could have been a good thing for the community, it would have been a good thing for Call of Duty, and everybody would have won. But instead now, you've pushed people away from your projects. You've persuaded people away from potentially trying out Black Ops 6. You've persuaded people away from going back to Call of Duty. There's less reason now for people to play this game. More than ever. Because again, you choose to fight the wrong battles. There are bigger battles, bigger concerns that you have with your current game. And yet you decide to shut down your fans, shut down your community, and completely frustrate them in the process. And it's just so disappointing. Especially considering the fact that Call of Duty was built with modding in mind. This from 402, Robert Bowling, one of the former developers on Call of Duty. And we've talked about him before when it comes to these projects. But he speaks the truth here as he says, A lot of the original Infinity War team consisted of devs who used to be modders. The original Call of Duty PC games released mod tools and server files to empower community creations to expand on the original vision. Build systems to help your UGC community not strangle it. I am so sick and tired of Call of Duty strangling their community. It should be about empowering them to create projects like this. Maybe you should hire the guys that work on SM2 and H2M and ask them how you develop stuff that empowers your community, that excites your community, that hypes them up. But no, heaven forbid that. Call of Duty doesn't want to create good projects. They want to create good marketing tools. And that's what they've done to you. That's what they've done to all of us. They brainwashed us to believe the marketing and not the actual product. Because the products we've been delivered over the last several years from Activision and Call of Duty have been substandard and flat out embarrassing. Compared to their previous projects, they are an embarrassment. They pale in comparison to what it used to be. And I'm not saying technically. Yes, Modern Warfare 3 in 2023 is a beautiful game. But from a gameplay standpoint, the way the game plays, the way the game feels, it is nowhere near how Modern Warfare 2 felt and played back in 2009. Because you can see that there was one game developed in a boardroom and one game developed by a bunch of people who cared about an experience. And I don't have to tell you which one is which. Games need to stop being developed in boardrooms by people who are out of touch with the gaming community. Instead, it needs to be turned back over to the creative minds of the developers. But I guess that might just be a pipe dream. Because all of us are viewed as idiots with dollars. And the more that we support these games, the more that we incentivize this trash, the more that it's just going to be put out. And the only way to solve it, the only way to change any of this, is to stop supporting them. So I'm going to finish the video with a call to action. And the call to action is to boycott everything Activision puts out. It's that simple. Boycott it all. No Season 6 Battle Pass. No in-game purchases on Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone. If you're pissed off about the H2M mod being shut down, I do not want to see you go out and buy the newest bundle. The newest Battle Pass. Because you are voting against your best interests when you do something like that. You are being a hypocrite and you are going against everything that made you mad in the first place. If you're pissed off about this project being shut down, vote with your wallet, tell Activision enough's enough, and stop spending money on in-game purchases. It's that simple. 
you want action, you want change, you want them to learn from this mistake this time, stop incentivizing them to continue down this path. That's it for the video. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, can you please hit that like button? If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.